exclusive for you. Karen's new egg. This right here was a twin. This little twin egg. Um, oh, come on, Nugget. This adorable little gecko. Kevin, get out. <laughs> Welcome back, Urban Rescue uh, Pranksters, Minecraft, Amogus, Fortnite friends. Today, I have the most exciting video I have ever filmed, period, and I'm, and that's, I'm not capping. Today, Karen laid her very first egg, and it wasn't Kevin because he's a guy. And I know Kevin has been experiencing coitus with Karen. You guys have literally no idea how happy I am that this happened. I have been waiting for this moment for so Whoa, is that hit rapper and artist the baby? Look at this beautiful man. All he thinks about is nibble, grass, sleep, huddle. Can't wait till this boy grows up and lays an egg of his own. But man, oh man. And I'm also gonna start feeding these guys a lot more because now that we have the big incubator set up, I'm gonna start giving them layer pellets. With the layer pellets, they'll start laying a lot more eggs because there's a lot more calcium. This is the shell that Morgan cracked out of. And this is all also calcium, and they're gonna eat all of that. And then let's see if there's anything in this one. So the other thing I wanted to do in this video was check and see if anything was actually developing in these eggs. This is for scientific purposes and just out of curiosity. If you don't like seeing the babies, scrub through, and I'll put a timestamp of when to scrub through to see Karen's egg. Okay, it looks like it started to develop a long time ago, and then it just kind of got rotten. This one, I think. Yeah. So when you're incubating a lot of these guys, you really want to look in and see what went wrong. So in this case, you know, this little guy developed a lot, but something must have happened somewhere along the process that ended up, um, you know, causing it to, to stop. Likely it was probably the, the thing wasn't turning enough. It might've gotten an infection. There could have been all kinds of issues, but for the most part, um, yeah, it looks like this one also was developing. That's really sad. Yeah, that's really upsetting, you guys. It looks like they made it about 20 days. Something must have happened along that process where they just weren't able to continue. And that's really sad, but that's just a part of life. We have these experiences and we learn from them and we move on. In this case, I'm gonna do my research based on the footage and the pictures I've taken of these guys and try and find out for myself what went wrong and, and how can we do better. This right here was a twin, so we're gonna see. Uh, oh, yep. Okay, that is very, very interesting. And this is typical when you have twins, a lot of times they don't make it all the way and that is what happened here. But what's really neat is that this little twin egg, um, oh, come on, Nugget, come on. Uh, this little twin egg was part Nugget and then part I am Kamani. You see that? So, so you can tell that it's Nugget's egg, right? Because it's Nugget's color. But one of them was black and then one of them was white. Again, trigger warning. Uh, this might be upsetting for a lot of you guys, but in my opinion, it's, it's kind of necessary to understand how these things work, to see these things and to find out how we can do better. But also, all of these little guys are gonna end up being food. Nothing goes to waste here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. All these little guys are gonna be fine. This one was definitely developing. Yeah, there's another one that was developed. And that was just a regular egg. I don't know if it was a humidity thing or something else. No, that's just how it goes. We're gonna learn from that. And uh, these guys are gonna eat all of that. And if they don't, I'm gonna give it to Poppy and Poppy is gonna get all of that as well. There it is, guys. Karen's new egg. <gasps> look how big it is. And it's yellow. Oh, look at all those seagulls. Wow. What are they doing up there? Okay, so this explains why Kevin has been particularly more aggressive to me as of late. Uh, I put up this new fencing, but I know it's not gonna work. He upped the ante a little bit. I'm gonna give Karen that glizzy just as a little thank you. I hope that doesn't affect the eggs at all. Uh, and Kevin's gonna get a glizzy as well. Uh, I need to go in there and get the egg from them because uh, they're just gonna kick it around. She didn't put it in the nest. She's still kind of young, but that is definitely a fertile egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right in the incubator and then we're gonna be good to go. Look how cute Vinny is. A nugget, don't bully the kids. Vinny is just munching away down there. I'm really surprised that this fence worked so well, but look, that egg's already starting to get a little dirty. Grrr. Okay, I'm gonna need a friend to come over and film so that I can go ahead and take care of Kevin. I want that egg to be as kept as careful as possible. I will literally kill to have a little baby Karen Kevin hybrid. That would be the cutest little thing. But look at these little babies. And Poggers is being so good. Thank you guys so much, 300 subscribers. I didn't think we'd be able to make a 300 subscriber special this soon. So I'm gonna give glizzies to everyone. Glizzy for everyone. Glizzy for doorknob, glizzy for Karen, glizzy for this uh, rabbit. Nope, Glizzy for Pog, Glizzy for you, uh, Glizzy, Glizzy for you, Glizzy for you, Glizzy for these babies, Glizzy for pigeons, Glizzy's for everybody today, Glizzy for Karen again. I love her. The chicks are getting into the Glizzy's too, look at that. All right.
But that's it guys, no more horses around. Today we're gonna get our first ever ray of air. Kevin, get out. Looks like a dragon egg, guys. I am so excited. I'm gonna get this wiped off. I'm not gonna shake it. I'm not gonna run with it or anything. But look at that, guys. Look at that. This is literally the best day. But all right, guys, we did it. Everybody eats a glizzy today. This was literally just laid, guys just late and i wanted to get it quickly because i knew it would get rolled around in the mud a little bit but for the most part it didn't it's totally fine just gonna wipe off a little bit there is a baby karen kevin hybrid in here you guys a baby karen kevin hybrid and i would crack this open and eat it this is the coolest thing ever this is the closest thing to a dinosaur egg that we will ever get to see in our lifetime. Even smells fresh. Wow. And then this little guy is automatically turning and keeping it humid for us. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do this. How's it open? Like, oh, there it is. How am I gonna do this? Okay, so I'm just gonna slide it in here, just like that. I think it should go long wise, but I'm not 100% sure on that. We're gonna double check. If it is, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just turn the whole trick to the side so that way we can go right and left. We'll find some way to jerry-rig it and make it perfect, right? So this incubator turns at a 90 degree turning radius, uh, but it needs to turn at a 180 degree radius for Karen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up having to go in and turning it a little bit myself every day. I'm gonna get some gloves too. Thank you so much for watching. I have never been this excited about anything in my literal life. Woo! Heck, I might just start drinking this entire thing of iced tea right now, just in celebration. No, I'm not gonna, I don't care that much. But thank you, Karen. I love you. Please lay it in the nest next time. Okay, so I got all these. These are the nice, fresh eggs. And then I have these that I think are about a week old. I'm still gonna use them, but, uh, but I'm not so sure about that. Whoa, was that hit rapper and artist? The baby? Sir. I'm gonna go ahead and give all this stuff to Poppy because she's gonna eat the rest of it. I don't want the rats to get into that. Let's see what Bertha's cooking. Oh, come on. Come on, mama. Uh, looks like just a couple. But I am gonna go ahead and put all of these guys in here. These ones I am going to do a little experiment. I'm gonna wipe these off with some kind of disinfectant. A lot of people say use this stuff, never use this, don't use this. But we're gonna see. Today marks the day where I start to put layer pellets and a lot of layer pellets in here for the chicken we're gonna see what the egg production looks like this is what we've gotten in the last like week we're gonna see what happens whenever i start giving them a lot more food okay so i have actually no idea how to get these things out of here it looks like this one's even getting caught there hey look 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 take a look at this yeah it's getting stuck on there need to be kind of pushed as far to the back as they can oh my gosh I, could, I forgot that we even had all that space this is just stupid i don't even need this but I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting these guys in there one at a time and then I'll take a video when I'm done. Okay, I figured it out. You have to press the okay and the minus at the same time and you see how they're slowly starting to level. There is a surprising lack of information about these machines online. I don't know if I should be putting in more water up here or not, but we will see. So I got all these eggs in here. This one is clearly a twin, but I'm gonna give that one a shot and see what happens. And there's Karen's egg. I'm gonna put it right back in the incubator so it didn't go bad. So this is my plan actually. I am eventually going to take Karen egg and put it on another shelf. My goal is going to be to get one of Karen's eggs in there, one or two of them in one of these guys, and uh, and then I'm going to let Kevin actually incubate the rest. I put those ones that had some schmutz on them that were kind of older in here. I also know that sometimes it's best to just put them straight in. I'm going to give uh, these little poor lost souls to Poppy to consume. Hey Poppy. Here's a little smorgasbord for you. And she will get a lot of good vitamins and nutrition out of that. I hear a rodent. Oh, look, there they are. Hello there, adorable little gecko. Look at this adorable little gecko. Hey guys, thank you so much for uh, whatever subscriber count we're at now. I love you all so much. I appreciate you guys. You're the best things in the world. And... Ah!